Hi, I'm Gary Chapman, author of The Five Love Languages, a book I hope you've read. If not, I hope you will read it. I've been involved in marriage and family ministry for over 30 years, trying to help couples do what they want to do, have a good marriage. I really believe that when most people get married, they don't get married to be miserable. I've never met someone who said, I'm going to get married and be as miserable as I can be. When people get married, they want to be happy. They want to have a supporting, loving, caring relationship. And that's what Marriage Encounter is all about. It's taking couples where they are and helping them move toward that objective, to have that kind of relationship. I don't know about you, but I had some struggles in the early years of my marriage. I remember before I got married, I could hardly wait to be as happy as I was going to be. Six months after marriage, I was more miserable than I had been my whole life. And, you know, so I have a lot of empathy for people who struggle in their marriage. I think everybody struggles to some degree. But I also know what it is to have a close, intimate, warm, supportive marriage. And a marriage encounter helps couples do that. It's going to be a, a time in which uh, you will have an opportunity to get to know each other better. I know some of you think, oh, I know my spouse. We've been married 20 years, you know. But the fact is, we don't know each other many times. And we have struggles over the differences in our relationship. And communication is the process whereby we come together and learn to work as a team. And a marriage encounter will help you do that. Uh, it's, a, it's really a wonderful event. I've had the opportunity of speaking at some of Marriage Encounter's national events. Uh, this is all over the world, Marriage and Movement. It, uh, marriage Encounter is a great movement around the world. It'll be a good investment of your time. Yes, it will take time and energy and effort to do this. But, you know, I've found that if you just drift along in your marriage, you will always drift apart. Couples never drift together. We have to work at having a good marriage. I remember once I was in an airport, met a young lady, started talking with her, found out she was engaged. In fact, she was going to visit her fiance that weekend. She asked me what I did. I said, well, I do marriage enrichment events. She said, what do you do at those things? I said, well, we help people work on their marriage. And this strange look came on her face. And she said, why do you have to work on a marriage? I knew she had never been married because those of us who are married know that marriage has to be worked at. The in love experience which brings us to marriage was not work, that was fun. But once you come down off the in love high, you have to work on the relationship. And Marriage Encounter is designed to provide a place for you, a safe place where you can work on your marriage together. It's not a place where you're gonna share all your things and your ideas with, with a small group. You'll be listening to some presentations in a group, but the two of you will be spending time communicating with each other. You know, communication is to marriage what breathing is to the body. Without breath, we die. Without communication, a marriage dies. And most of us need a lot of help on the simple art of communication, talking and listening. It sounds simple, but it's not simple. You know it and I know it. We have to learn how to communicate. But if we do, we can build an intimate marriage. And my hope is that this weekend is going to be a fresh beginning for the two of you in your marriage. It'll be a great weekend. I encourage you to attend a Marriage Encounter event as soon as you can. Marriage Encounter in Singapore is part of the worldwide Marriage Encounter movement. It is a Catholic program that has spread to several Christian denominations all over the world. Marriage Encounter is a non-profit organization run completely by volunteers. It is a highly effective couple weekend experience that takes place every first Friday of the month. Mandarin weekends are conducted three times in a year. After registration, you will receive a mail from Marriage Encounter confirming the weekend and providing all necessary information about the weekend, like where to go, what to pack. As you arrive for the weekend at ME House in Pongo, you will be shown to your private room where you will be accommodated. All presentations take place in a conference room. The presentations are conducted by three couples and a priest. The presentations are in the form of personal sharings by the presenters following a worldwide marriage encounter outline. All the presenters are not professionals, but are just couples who are willing to share their life stories with others. Following each presentation, 
There is time for a personal reflection, then couple discussion in the privacy of your room. After that, you return to the conference room to repeat the process for different topics. There is no group sharing or discussions as such. And that's all there is to a marriage encounter weekend. Typical misconception of marriage encounter would be that it's for troubled marriages, marriages on the rocks, as well as for old people. Oh, marriage encounter, you have a lot of sharing, and no way am I going to do, you know, share my secrets. Many couples are very skeptical about the weekend. They feel that uh, if the marriage is okay, why should they go for the weekend? But I always challenge them and invite them to see that uh, there's always things to work at, greater heights to their relationship. And at the weekend itself, many of them say, ah, we should come earlier because we have spent so much time fighting over issues that are not important. I think for me, um, one of the biggest changes is that I've been able to say thank you to Vincent when he gives gifts or pays compliments. Because I think in the past, I was a bit awkward. Every time he would come and give me a hug or say, I love you, or buy me flowers or a present, I'll say, no need lah, waste money, you know? But nowadays, I'm able to accept the gesture of love for what it is and to be more gracious in accepting it. One of the greatest impact for me this weekend is the improved communication which I have experienced. And this improved communication starts off with uh, me being able to listen with my heart to Julin and also it has extended to my relationship with my daughters. For the last 25 years of marriage, he hadn't revealed his innermost thoughts about our relationship until that weekend. And that weekend actually uh, helped me to rekindle our emotions and the environment is very non-threatening so it's very conducive for you to express your inner feeling. I guess it kind of taught us to start communicating again because we always thought we communicated quite well but then I, I think over the years you kind of lose your way a little bit. Um, so what, what really uh, allowed me to take away from the weekend uh, was, was really being able to share our feelings and uh, to focus on understanding uh, what the other person, what our partner is saying uh, and feeling mm. um, without uh, the need to, to make any judgment. About this time we heard about Marriage Encounter. I heard about it at church. And I said, well, what is it? They said, well, it's a way to strengthen your marriage. And I said, thanks, I've got a good marriage. Now, I think most of us, when we first hear about Marriage Encounter, not me, thanks, I'm doing fine, don't rock the boat. And uh, they said, no, no, this makes a good marriage better. Well, I'm a journalist. I know a PR line when I hear one. I mean, that's a PR line that makes a good marriage better right, you know. But I kept hearing this from otherwise sensible couples. They were a little older than we were. And they said, gee, it's just been great for us. And uh, my first thought was, well, they probably needed it. Marriage Encounter is an opportunity for people to rediscover the person that they fell in love with and to fall back in love with that person. And it is something that every couple deserves. What came clear to me because of the weekend is that I needed to be nearer to people. I needed to let people experience my friendship for them. And especially I needed to be part and parcel of the life of so many married couples who were united in love, and I too, because of my priesthood, was challenged to be united in love with God's people. And I felt that instead of being simply the priest in charge of people, I could be the priest in love with people. The priest in love who help people to share, to grow in their love for each other, to grow in their love for the community, and to come forward instead of being pushed by me into a project. 
And that has been what I have been trying to do since the time I attended the marriage encounter. We can. Of course, I, I don't always succeed. And from time to time, I am afraid that I am more often the priest in charge than the priest in love. Your marriage is the cornerstone of your family unit, which in turn is the cornerstone of the church and of society. That is why I believe ME is a very powerful movement that can change the world we live in. I personally invite each and every couple who has not yet been encountered to say yes to the weekend and by that give the greatest gift you possibly can to your spouse. And I would venture to add to your children as well.